So I found an affordable polycarbonate shield on Amazon that's supposedly suitable for shops, home and outdoor safety defense and cosplay. Okay. Let's find out if you can protect your safety in the wilderness and at home for 60 bucks. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can I do a hard one? That's totally fine. That's impressive. That's yeah. pretty hard. Yeah, I can feel the impact, but it doesn't hurt. Mm -hmm. That was decently hard. All right. That's uncomfortable, but doesn't really hurt. Let's try on the uh, on the, the rim. Yeah. Oh, that collapse is really hard. I take full responsibility, <laughs> <Yeah>. obviously. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Just scratches. All right, here's my professional, not improvised test setup for the shield. It's fairly stable in the center. Not so much if you push on the sides, but that's how it is when you hold it too. So I'm gonna try a machete now, which are more common nowadays. Gonna go fairly light first. No problem with that, it's a bit harder. It scores a line into it, but it doesn't seem to do any structural damage. Okay, now I'm gonna change the arc of the swing to tilt the blade more forward on impact, so it digs in more with the point. That's definitely more effective. I can feel a groove here with my nail. It's pretty difficult to see. Okay, it did not go through. I can feel nothing on the inside. Let's be a little mean, shall we? Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Okay, that was asking a bit too much, admittedly. I mean, what is going to protect you against this? <laughs> Not much. And, well, technically it did protect. Um, not the arm, necessarily, behind the padding, but it's better than taking this point directly. So, there's that. But what if someone tries to go medieval on your ass? Literally. Not bad, but it's also not a powerful swing. Let's go a little harder. I broke my setup, which was to be expected. It's not meant to simulate an arm, so before you jump to conclusions about whether or not that would break your arm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's not what I expected. Hmm. That doesn't work quite so well anymore. Hmm. All right. Fixed it. One of these caps fell off, which was to be expected. In fact, two. So they just go over the screws. I'm assuming it's pretty much just cosmetic. I kind of want to hit it on the edge of the shield. It's not going to be as much resistance with the setup, but let's see what happens. Oh. That's why we do tests, to discover effects previously unanticipated. I would not trust my life with one of these. The flexibility is really good, but uh, once you cut into it, uh, into the edge, then it starts to break out. Fair enough, I guess. Well, I'm already committed now, screw it. Ooh.
Oh boy, it does not take edge strikes to the edge well at all. I mean, to be fair, that would always be the weakness regardless of material. If you hit the edge of a wooden shield, it splits. This splits too, just a little more dramatically. Um, the thing is, a wooden shield will get the weapon stuck if you cut into the edge. This one just breaks. So you would have to make sure to really only take strikes on the flat and then not a point like this, ideally. Because that'll go right through. Isn't it funny how it survived the flanged mace, but not the machete? Oh well. So um, I can still list this on eBay as mint condition, right? Uh, or maybe I fix it with duct tape and list it as refurbished? Yeah, so th there isn't much left of it. Now, some might argue it's unreasonable to hack into the edge of the shield with a machete. To that I say, nay. I mean, come on. It, we're talking street fight, okay? If, if you need this in a real self-defense situation and someone comes at you with a machete, are you just gonna ask them to please kindly only strike the surface head on and don't hack into the edge? In my opinion, in real life, when the manure hits the air circulation device, you can't just be like, well, I hope this doesn't happen. Well, what if it does? But to be fair, this is the worst case scenario, short of being shot with a gun. And against blunt weapons, it works perfectly well. You know, you can absolutely defend yourself with this against a baseball bat, no problem. But uh, it has its limits when it comes to cutting into the material. It's impact resistant, all right. It flexes, which is good to absorb a lot of that impact shock. It's just cutting. That's what, that's what blades are all about. You can ask, well, why did they even bother with swords back in history when you had, you know, flanged maces and war hammers and all this other crap. Well, th this illustrates one of the reasons why. You concentrate a lot more force that you put into a swing on a smaller area. That's what happened here. A blunt weapon with a larger surface area, like a baseball bat in particular, if it hits the face of the shield, it gets dissipated across quite a large area. If you hit it with a sharp edge, it concentrates it a little bit more, hence the scoring marks. If you concentrate it on an even smaller surface, like the spike of the bill hook, it goes through. If the weapon has a small surface area, like a sharp edge, and then you hit another small area, that's it. Wooden shields do a lot better here. I've done some tests and yeah, of course, eventually you'll start to hack it apart if you keep hitting it over and over again with various sharp implements. But generally something like a machete or a sword will get stuck in the shield, which is good for you. Not so good in this case. Of course, the main advantage here is it's lighter than even a small wooden shield, well, with a steel boss, but anyway, and you can see through it. You can see through it even better now. Um, you could significantly improve this design and make the shield way more effective by one, making it thicker, because it's unnecessarily light, in my opinion. It doesn't need to be quite that light. Yes, it's useful you know, to, to be quicker and you know, tire you less and all of that, but you can easily handle a heavier shield, which would make it stronger. And two, by reinforcing the edge with a different material, you know, making the edge a little bit thicker and uh, making it more resilient against cuts into it. Could maybe even be something like rubber or you know, some sort of material that has a cushioning effect and that slows down the blade enough to prevent it from just chopping straight into the plastic. As it is, I can't really recommend it for obvious reasons. The main application, I guess, would be home defense. I don't really see anyone running around outside with a shield strapped to their back or whatever, just in case it would really mainly be home defense. And in that case, you're better off with a wooden shield, in my opinion. But I'll leave the link to it on Amazon in the description. It is an affiliate link. But as said, I 
wouldn't really recommend it for anything other than blunt impact. In sparring, this would work. In fact, that would probably be the best case scenario. You could use this for HEMA practice. We've seen that it works. It absolutely takes blunt swords and other non-sharp weapons. That's not a problem. You can use it as a rotella, I suppose. Um, that would work. But other than that, limited use. Anyway, hope you found this interesting. If you'd like to help out fund stuff like this for future videos, you can check out my Patreon page in the description below. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe, folks.